Hi, and welcome to our first Podium Perspective. Today, we're gonna to focus on the value of data lakes. Let me roll up our sleeves and let's get into this. We're gonna compare and contrast a best practice data lake implementation with a traditional enterprise data approach um, to, to data warehousing. So, in the old traditional approach, the process would be you gather business requirements. From those business requirements, you figure out which data you need or which data you think the users need to meet those business requirements. And from there, you actually move into what was called source to target mapping. You would focus on a target data model and map those data sources to that mapping. And then you would move into really what was the most expensive and time consuming part of the project, which is that ETL development such that you can move the data uh, from your source into your target. And then you would wrap that up with validating the data, making sure you got what you think you got. And then finally, your data consumers would have access to the data. Now this process typically takes 12 to 18 months. So think about that for a minute. You have 12 to 18 months before your data consumers are seeing the data. Within that 12 to 18 months, your business requirements surely would have changed. Your data consumers probably aren't really sure of exactly what they're looking for. So we need a better approach, and that better approach is, um, was born through data lakes. So let's talk about the best practice data lake approach. So from a data lake perspective, we don't require specificity in which data we want. We can look at any source, and we can specify all of the data in that source to be onboarded. The economies of scale and the disruptive technology of big data has really forced folks to look at a better way of doing things, and that's how Podium sees this. So from a data lake perspective, when you're looking at data sources, you can onboard those data sources very quickly, but more importantly, one of the best practice approaches is to make sure that that data is business ready. And what that means is, you're not just copying a file. You are validating that data, and you are profiling that data so you know what you have, and you're doing it on the way in so it's efficient and it's repeatable. That data has to be secure. That data has to be managed. Managing the data simply means making sure that you're understanding your history requirements, you're treating this from an enterprise perspective, and you can continually add new sources without creating chaos. Governing the data on top of all this becomes a critical part to the success of a data lake. Being able to add business metadata, being able to tag your data, being able to share that and crowdsource that information across your organization is critical. Finally, building that all on top of a metadata-driven approach is really where you're gonna get your repeatability and your confidence in that data. So looking at this process, the access to that data from a consumer perspective can be ad hoc, can be data scientists. You can also have systems accessing that data, business intelligence, data models. And then finally, it's all done from a data as a service or self-service perspective. Now here's the best part. This all happens in hours or minutes when you are using a best practice approach. So there is no exaggeration here. The reality is you can onboard any and all of these sources extremely efficiently and extremely effectively. Um, is there much doubt in the value of being able to give your consumers access from months and months and months to minutes and hours? I don't think there is. So let's go over here and actually chat about some more details with regards to the, the data lake. So from a Podium perspective, we view and our customers have actually driven this view of two sets of users now. There are data producers and data consumers. Okay, The data producers are really responsible for onboarding that data. You can equate this or again contrast this to the old approach where really the data producers was this big long expensive ETL process. By the way, look forward to a future podium perspective on why ETL is dead. I think you'll find it very interesting. So now data producers are, are in minutes and hours onboarding that data into the data marketplace. 
and they're, they're sharing the structure and the meaning of the data. They're not presuming what consumers want to see, they're just giving them what they need so the consumers can make their own decisions. So now the power has shifted from the time and cost of producing data to the data consumers. We like to say we want to give our consumers the ability to ask as many questions and get as many wrong answers as possible until they get that right answer that tells them where they want to drive their business. By, by the lightning quickness of producing data, the consumers can ask lots of questions. That is the empowered consumer. Finally, Doing this in a best practice approach from a security, from a trusted data perspective, in an agile way, providing this self-service turnkey solution to the consumers is critical. Sourcing the data from any source, providing a canonical format such that the consumers can discover, find, shop for that data, and do something with the data is really critical to success. Data preparation is also viewed in Podium's perspective as a self-service activity, along with publishing that data in a format that may be required for them to use, whether it's in a downstream system or feeding a data model or some other algorithm. This is all built on top of that metadata-driven approach. Now, we've also seen from our customers that the, the importance of doing this on-prem, in the cloud or hybrid is really important to the success of their data lake project. Some consumers want to do everything on-prem, some consumers want to do everything in the cloud, and other customers actually take a hybrid approach. So being able to support all of this um, becomes critical. So thank you for spending a few minutes with me. Hopefully the value of a data lake is extremely clear now, and we look forward to seeing you in our next Podium Perspective, which will focus on data ingestion and onboarding. Thank you.